Hello everyone, in this problem we're going to find the domain of this logarithmic function. So if it was just the log of x, then the domain would simply be the positive numbers. We would just say x greater than zero and we would be done. But here it's the log of this. So this whole thing here has to be greater than zero. So step one, when you're finding the domain of log functions, is to take this entire piece here and set it greater than zero like this. So boom, just like that. Okay, so now we have to think about when this is true. Well, it has an absolute value. You might say, well, isn't absolute value always positive? Not quite, right? If you have the absolute value of A, it's greater than or equal to zero. So most of the time it's positive, but there could be the case when it's zero. So this is always true. So is always true. unless it's zero. So unless whatever's inside is zero. So unless 3x minus 7 is equal to zero. So unless 3x is equal to 7. So unless x is 7 thirds. That's a really small 7 thirds. Let me, let me, let me make that a little bit bigger. <laughs> so unless x is 7 thirds. Right, because when x is 7 thirds, this whole thing is zero and you would get zero bigger than zero, game over. So it's always true unless the inside is zero, which makes the whole thing zero. So it's every number except this. So how would you express that? So here's 7 thirds. And that would mean that it's all of the numbers over here, all of these numbers over here, and also all of these over here. But you don't want to include the 7 thirds. So what you do is you put like these opposing parentheses. So you write the answer as negative infinity all the way to 7 thirds, you don't include it, then you put a union, and then you start at 7 thirds again, and then you go to infinity. So that's how you throw away the number 7 thirds. That would be the interval notation answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.